Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In honor of it getting a little colder outside, finally, I decided to go ahead and do this fall look. Um, this is done with none other than one of my other new Morphe palettes. This is the 35O. It is what everyone suggests you start out with, or at least from what I've heard has a good mix of mattes and shimmers, but it is available in all shimmer or all matte. So I used this palette to create this look. And uh, if you wanna see how I did it, keep watching. And also be sure that you're subscribed to my channel, hit that button down there or over here and get subscribed and hit that bell so you can see when I post new videos. I post on Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday time allowing always Tuesday and Thursday usually Saturday it just depends on how my weekends look in and if I've had a chance to film early enough to post it on Saturday <clears throat> so keep watching and see how we accomplished this look I hope y'all enjoy it and let me know what you'd like to see next okay guys So we're just gonna jump right in. Face is already covered in foundation and contour. All the works just need to do my eyes, my highlight, and my lips. We're good to go. So first things first, we always hop in with a good transition shade. So the second color right here. <clears throat> and it's just gonna go all over my lid and all the way up into my crease. I have my MAC Paint Pot on here and this will just serve to come on here and diffuse this down a little bit, make sure it's not tacky or anything, and make sure all of my eyeshadows will blend. So we're going to put this in here. Let's see. Okay. Then we're going to hop in with the shade right underneath it. It's just a little bit darker, but not too crazy. And we're going to put that mostly in the crease and a little bit on the lid. So it's going to take, and I'm doing everything with this BH Cosmetics blending brush for right now. I may introduce another brush in a second. We will see. But for now, this is getting the job done. And this is why we work. If you want to save on how many makeup brushes you use, always go light to dark. That way you can kind of use the same brush, especially for your crease since everything's going to be mostly blended together anyways. And I found that for me that works really well. Then I don't have to dirty up as many brushes, usually only maybe a maximum of three for an eye look if it's super detailed, but for something like this, I'm probably looking at two. Okay. So that puts that up there. And then we're gonna go ahead and sweep this on the lash line. Cause as you know, I'm extra. And this needs to be dramatic Okay, and we didn't sweep much, it's a light color, so you don't really need to. <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do, um, I want to do this in reds and pinks. We're going to go in here to this kind of uh, burnt red color, and we are going to take it on the same brush, and we are going to put this all in the crease, and this can go high up. That is perfectly fine. This is a color we can be a little messy with. So it's just going to go up here. As you can see, it's got a red tint to it, but it's not super bright just yet. We'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> so go ahead and put this in the other crease. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna build this up for the look I'm going to. This is really, it's not 
so much a red it's more of kind of a burnt copper kind of feel to it <clears throat> and then we're gonna of course like with the last one just sweep it down here on the lower lash line I guess I should really look up when I do that and it would probably go better so just sweep it under here and if it gets a little messy, no worries. You can clean it up with your concealer in just a minute. So after this color, we're gonna pick up this bright red right here. And we're gonna put that a little bit lower down, but still in the crease. And we're gonna try to pick up a whole lot of that just to be sure we get the color we want. And this 35 i I'm noticing the mattes take a little longer to pick up than they do in some of the other palettes. But they're super gorgeous, so I can let that go for sure. I'm still loving Morphe. I mean, like I said in my 35B video, like, I have no clue why nobody told me to do this sooner. Okay. So as you can see, that added some more red to this look. Kind of gave it that direction that I was hoping for. I'm just gonna repeat this on the other side. So now what we've got is this really smoked out red look <clears throat> and we're going to sweep this on the lash line too. And I don't usually do like really red looks, but I don't know, this just seems appropriate. It's starting to get cold outside so I think I can get away with it. It's very folly. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do in our crease, we're going to go in and I want to take this color. I just like the way it sits. I know on here it looks kind of gray, but to me it's kind of like a, a brownish gray almost. And I am really digging this. And we're just going to put this in the outer corner. It is not going to go all the way over. Like I say with most of my looks, you want that outer corner to give you some dimension. The outer corner is where I feel like your look should be the darkest. So we're just going to put this out here <clears throat> and we will go in and blend this all together when I'm done just to be sure that these harsh lines are not there because right now they are a little bit harsh still but we are definitely going to fix that. Okay. So I'm gonna take like a dot of that and put that in my lower lash line. But I don't want to get this way too dark. <clears throat> okay, so here comes the fun part. We are going to dip into my shape tape. And I'm gonna take it on the brush that I usually use for my paint pot. It's super dirty, but it'll be fine. And we are going to cut a crease. And I'm going to cut it up a little higher because, like I'm sure you'll know if you have these wonderful hooded eyes, a low cut crease does you almost no good. I think I may need to grab a smaller brush to cut this exactly how I want it, but I think this will work. It's just going to be a little bit messy for a cut crease, and that's okay. Okay, we are going to have to go in in a minute and make this smoke out a little more because I did go crazy on my cut crease. Happens to the best of us. It's okay. 
I am going to conceal this down here just a tiny bit. Just to get that line going. Okay. So now we are going to go in, and I may not have to fix this actually, because I'm going to go in to this shimmery orange. They're so pretty. Like, this is a gorgeous orange. And we are going to pick it up on this brush. I don't even think I need MAC Fix Plus for this. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So we're going to pick it up and just put it all in this cut crease. And I'm really feeling these like reddish orange looks. I think they're so pretty. And now that I've almost got them figured out, I'm definitely down to do them a lot more often. Okay, so let's just get this on <sighs> this other eye. I'm kind of having to dig this shadow out to really get the pigment I want, which doesn't really shock me, but I think that is important to know. But I am going to go back in with my blending brush in just a second and try to bring my smoky eye back down a little more and cover up just a little bit of this orange. Cause I went a little crazy because it's so pretty I couldn't help myself. <clears throat> so we're just gonna go back into that red first and put it a little farther down diffuse this orange a little bit because that was a super harsh line anyways and we don't like harsh lines those aren't cool so we'll just take it and go over the orange right here <clears throat> and then repeat the same process over here And I think what this is going to do, what I'm hoping it's going to do, is really just give me a little bit of shimmer on this red in the crease since I am diffusing it down some. And then we'll go back into our brown and just pop that back into this outer corner and see what that will do once we get it blended together really well. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this brown to stick on this eye, but I think I've got it close enough. So now we just go in here and we blend this all together a little better. And all this is is just to make sure all these colors are kind of mixed together. Nothing is too harsh, nothing's too crazy. Because now, we are going to go into this pink right here. And I'm just going to grab that on my finger. If you're curious, this has pigment from the gods, you guys. It is so pigmented, it is unreal. And we are definitely going to have to clean this up because with my finger, I can't be nearly as specific as I would have liked to have been, but that does get me the best pigment payout. So we've got that in our inner corners. And I think that is gonna take care of our eye look. So let me hop off here. Like always, I'm gonna take care of the rest of my eyes, eyeliner, lashes, mascara, all that jazz, some highlighter, and some lips and I'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay you guys, so final look time. I did my eyebrows, as always, with this little brow wax that I have. 
Then I went in and I added some Artist Couture Highlight. This came out of a boxy charm. It is my first time trying it. And it is very, very good actually. Um, I just picked it up with this Royal and Lang Nickel Precision Angled brush that I've been loving lately. Went in, added some Stila eyeliner. And my roller lash mascara on my bottom lashes and my top. <clears throat> and then I put on my Ardell Naturals. And I'm getting way better at my right eyes. This is this left eye. I have not quite mastered that yet. But we're getting there. And then for my lips. This gorgeous red is actually Creeper. It is a ColourPop Ultra Matte. And I absolutely love this color. Um, whenever I did my first order of ColourPop lips, I basically looked up videos where people said their top 10 favorites. And as a majority, this was a favorite red. And I definitely see why I use it a lot when I'm doing some kind of deeper looks and I want to put a red lip with it. <clears throat> and then I set my face with my um, All Nighter Spray. And I have been using this little baby travel bottle that I got as a sample because I don't know where I put my big bottle. <clears throat> so that'll be it for today's look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if you are not talked into getting a Morphe palette yet, like, go for it. 35.0 is the perfect palette to start out with. So just to give y'all a good look real quick, this is it. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, and if you have any suggestions or something you want to see soon, let me know. Thanks, guys.